While on my rounds, I ducked underneath a conveyor belt. I felt a hot splash. He hit my face and back of my neck. That was caused from uh, a bearing going right here. I turned to look and I stood up because I thought I was past a support beam. I was not. It caught the corner of my hard hat. I stood up straight into uh, an eye beam and my head was jarred back and I heard uh, many snaps in my neck and uh, down I went. And he couldn't sit, he couldn't stand, he couldn't walk. It was just, I felt so bad for him. I could feel his pain, not like what he was feeling. It was, it was, it was brutal. Straight to Regina in the ambulance. Uh, six hours later, uh, I was in surgery. We were informed about the odds. 30% chance of uh, making it through the surgery. 60% chance that I would be a quadriplegic coming out of the surgery if I lived through it. To go right into a surgery like that and a long surgery and you know having those odds, um, it just happened so quickly that I guess I didn't really register. I just knew I had to be there waiting and praying and see the rods, you can see the plates. Learning how to walk again, sure. learning how to scratch your back, uh, learning how to feed yourself. You're, it does affect your family. Like Greg loved hunting, you know, and, and even fishing. You know, I always thought when we got a little bit older, we'd do more of those things. All the things that I used to do, sports, travel, playing with grandchildren, that's out of the picture. You can never imagine how it can change. And all those things you took for granted can be gone.